Poseidon, Oceana, gods who ruled the waters of the ancient world. Now briefly exposed to the harsh light of day for the first time in 17 centuries, before being consigned to a watery grave. The modern Republic of Turkey now rules this land. A state determined on development at any cost, even if it means sacrificing a rich past. Turkey is erecting its own monuments to history, a massive $40 billion dams project, now flooding vast tracts of the southeast for irrigation and electricity generation. But the masters of this grand vision are also generating controversy. Officially, it's called the Southeast Anatolian Project, but everyone knows it by its Turkish acronym GAP. 22 dams on the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, 19 hydroelectric plants, 7,000 kilometres of irrigation channels, all to be completed in the next decade. Today, the gate is finally being lowered on GAP's latest engineering feat, the Biracic Dam. The block waters of the Euphrates River will now start their slow yet inevitable rise. Just upstream, the dam's completion triggers a new sense of urgency. For this is the ancient city of Zugma, hailed as a second Pompeii, a treasure virtually unknown outside the archaeological world. It was only last year, with a dam almost complete, this site started to reveal the full extent of its riches. Now Turkish and foreign archaeologists work around the clock to save what they can before the city is lost forever. Zaten bir ay sonra su bu seviyeye gelecek. Biracık barajının suları yükselecek. Şu an bu alanda 6 aydan beri biz yaz e, karkış demeden çalıştık. Çok sayıda mozaik bulduk e, burada. Bu ne kadar çok e, alanı açıp ne kadar çok buna bir mozaik bulabilirsek. A local museum now serves as warehouse for this priceless bronze statue of Mars and more than 60 mosaics all retrieved from just one small corner of the site. Some of the finest examples of this art form ever seen by the modern world. Onunla bile başa baş gitme durumuna geldi. Ki burada geniş bir alan atsaydık belki şu an dünyanın en büyük mozaik müzesi Tunus'u geçip dünyada gerçek yerini Zayukma mozaikleri alacaktı. Ama onu da ileriki yıllarda. Zugma was once home to 60,000 people and an entire Roman army legion. The team has unearthed just two villas. What other riches lie here is anyone's guess. Genel planı görülemedi. Yani e, cadde arterleri, ana arterler, e, belli e, resmi binalar, mabet vesaire tiyatrosu, bir kütüphanesi Bunları maalesef yakalayamadık ki bunlar yani keşke daha az mozaik olsaydı keşke bu genel yapıyı kavrayabilseydik. Şuralara sütunlar düşmüş galiba değil mi? But there's hope that half the city may lie somewhere above the waterline. The Turkish government is now promising to transform the area into an open air museum. The archaeologists have heard it all before on other sites flooded by gap dams. The government professes ignorance of a site's significance and offers to help once it's too late. Bir şey ama her zaman hüzün duydum tabii. Her zaman hüzün özellikle son sular altında kaldığı günler yaklaştıkça bir aşağıda Kargamış barajında bu yaz bir höyükte çalıştım. Onun eteklerini çalıştığım trençlere e, su girdi. Yaptığım evlerde gene bugün yoktular başıma ge, anam başıma. 
As archaeologists scramble to save the past, the nearby villages of Belkis attempt to salvage their future. For these farming families, it's their last day on land their ancestors have tilled for centuries. The Birichik Dam will eventually swamp 40 villages. 35,000 people, mainly ethnic Kurds, are being forced from their homes. Now, under the shadow of the dam wall, they remove steel beams and timber, anything that may be of use in rebuilding their lives elsewhere. They're assisted by sympathetic army conscripts, mostly farm boys themselves. The villagers know that protest is futile, as the military's helping hand would soon turn to a clenched fist. Gap, they're told, will benefit the state. In Turkey, individual rights come a poor second. But, you know, sure, people are, you know, are not very happy because they have to leave their places, but uh, dams are always like that. The dam comes first. If dam, yeah, if you are building dam, this situation is happening. This is under construction. Mm. There's not much sympathy at GAP headquarters. This project is about lifting southeast Turkey out of poverty. These dams are mainly going to produce energy. Economic and social development at all costs. A policy ingrained by Kemal Ataturk, founder of the modern Turkish state, whose unbroken stare dominates every government office. So this area is going to irrigate 1.1 million hectares. But 1.1 million, million hectares. But 850,000 is going to come from Ataturk Dam. So it's a very big deal, really. Mm. At the beginning of the project, their level was 47% of Turkey's average income. And after this project, it is going to be 70% of Turkey's uh, people's average income. If we hadn't done any project, it was going to be 25% of Turkey. But this language of economics is a foreign tongue to people who will soon be reduced to living in a mountainside tent. This family says local project officials stole most of their entitled compensation. For a government that wants to improve the lot of these people, it's a strange way to win hearts and minds. They are going to compensate it and they are going to take their money, expropriation money. And uh, we are now applying special project. In Halfeti, in Brejik Dam, we are applying a special project for resettlement of people and re-employment of people who used to live in the reserve area. This is the new Halfeti. Gap's model town, for residents of another community uprooted by the Birichik Dam. Sighted on an exposed ridgeline where the baking summer heat hits the 40s. The beloved riverside orchards of the old town replaced by fields of stone. These people consider themselves lucky. They were paid their full compensation just enough to buy these shoddily built homes. Lucky, but not happy. Yeah, 
Yani burayı işte yeşilindireceğiz. Çalışıyor işte ona. Yetiştirmeye çalışıyor meyveleri falan. Üzülüyoruz, çok üzülüyoruz. Dayanamayız yani o ağaçlar yeşil yeşil ağaçlar kesiliyor. Dayanamayızsın. Şimdi git üzeri erik dolu. Kıyamıyorsun onlara. Ne yapalım işte mecburu. Much of Southeast Turkey is still an armed camp, a legacy of the 15-year guerrilla war between the government and Kurdish separatists led by Abdullah Öcalan. Since Öcalan's capture last year, the conflict here has all but ended, and gut projects have accelerated, now free from the threat of attack. The people of this region are ethnic Kurds, an identity never really recognized by the state. Perhaps that explains why GAP is so nonplussed of the plans to flood this place, Hasankev, regarded as the cradle of Kurdish culture, an ancient town on the banks of the Tigris River that has been home to a dozen civilizations. O kuş kendi yuvasına ağlar. Yani yerleşim alanı Hasankev ve Hasankev'in çevresi olduğu için. Ve burada 11 bin yıllık tarih söz konusudur. Burada dünya mirası söz konusudur. Burada yapılacak ulusu barajının 70 yıllık bir ömrü için, burada 11 bin yıllık tarihin kaybolmaması için bu insanlar. Hasankev is protected by two United Nations Heritage Preservation Conventions, orders that GAP will ignore in building another dam to provide jobs and economic security for Hasankev's 5,000 Kurdish residents who will be evicted. Point out to me how high the water is going to go when the, when the dam is built. Eğer ulusu barajı tamamıyla e, bugünkü projeyle gerçekleşirse, yeni köprümüz ve şu eski köprüler olduğu gibi sular altında, görünen e, minaremizin şerefe kısmına kadar çıkacak ve tamamıyla Hasankev e, tarihi eserlerinden ayakta bir şey kalmayacak. Kala kısmı hariç. Together with energy production also we are going to produce, uh, protect the area from being destroyed. How, how can you do that when you, when you flood the area? How can you then also protect you it? Can, you can take the pictures, you can, you know, get some documents out of this and you can excavate and, you know, get some, if there are some treasures, uh, to the ground and you can just uh, prove that these were living over here once. So this is the entrance to the palace. Local tourism officer Amin says only the higher reaches of the town will escape the flooding, the castle ruins and some cave dwellings. This is quite literally living history. Amin and his family occupied one of the 5,000 caves of this area right up until 1970. And one day, all this uh, from the dam? Yeah, yeah that's what it is. From our vantage point, we see a few hardy shepherds who even today continue to live in the homes of their ancestors, their livestock herded into adjoining caves. <laughs> Bizans eserleri, Roma eserleri, Emevilere ait eserler, Abbasilerin, Artukolların, Eyyubilerin ve bugünkü bütün göz önünde bulunan tarihi eserlerimiz yok olup gidecek. Elbette bunları da görmek istemiyoruz. Yani yaşlı gözlerimizle seyredip bu güzel tarihi kentimizin, Alienating villages and archaeologists is one thing, but GAP is also making dangerous enemies of Turkey's downstream neighbours. Human rights lawyer Murat Çeyno says Turkey's generals now have the power to turn off the tap. In effect, creating a strategic weapon every bit as menacing as a nuclear bomb. Nuclear technologies of countries, Pakistan, 
Pakistan Türkiye'ye göre dünkü ülke e, nükleer bomba yapıyorken Türkiye su bombası yapıyor. kilometers downstream from Hasankef lies Baghdad, capital of a nation cursed with a tyrannical leader, economic sanctions, drought and now dangerously low river levels. Once it was called Mesopotamia, the land between the rivers Tigris and Euphrates. The Tigris should now be surging with melted snows from Turkey's mountains. Instead, it has dropped to its lowest level in living memory. So this time of year, normally we should be underwater here. Yes, right. Uh, the highest should hit that boundary, that yes. line. Up to the house. to the yeah. house, yes. yes. And now, see the difference? This so this is, is only, what, 30, 40 percent of right. what used to normally around, be? Yes, yeah. I would say around 40 percent of what it should be this time of the year. Iraq squarely blames the Gap project as do Turkey's other Arab neighbours. All are further infuriated by recent news that the Turks are now selling fresh water to Israel in a deal that will eventually reap $100 million a year. Every country in the arid Middle East now faces the problem of soaring population rates and finite water supplies. And there are growing fears that the failure to adhere to international water rights may eventually lead to a regional war. I don't think a country like Turkey that consider themselves as an advanced country and part of European community would allow a disaster like this happen. This disaster will affect the region, the whole region, not only Iraq. But GAP insists that Turkey's neighbours get their fair share. As far as fertility, Turkey has got more fertility in the land. As far as water, water is boring from Turkey. As far as construction, construction started in Turkey years ago. As far as everything, I don't think that we are behaving unfair. Poseidon, god of the sea, has been rescued from Birichik Dam's rising waters. He is powerful, violent and vengeful, yet helpless in stopping those who follow a modern faith, the creed of economic development. <laughs> 